What the size of the wind shifts out there today? Do you? Yeah, it was a very volatile day uh, on the race course. Um, you know, we were seeing you know, anywhere from 280 to 200, so yeah. 70, 80 degrees wind shifts at times. So it makes for a pretty difficult race course. And wind strengths? Uh, as low as 8, as much as a uh, signal of 16 a couple of times. Did that sort of cat and mouse on the, on the first seat, uh, that was unavoidable really. I mean, that ate up in about three and a half minutes, I think, for the first leg. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, it, it, as it turned out, it probably um, was one of the things that might have um, made the race uh, expire, but, you know, the time it didn't hang on, which we've done in a very way. How many what practice days did you have seen? Uh, none. No. No. We haven't sailed in these conditions here. Uh, what about races in your career that have ended like this? Have you had yeah. one that you should run away on like this before? Uh, time limits running out? Yeah, it happens all the time. You know, sort of, um, other events, you know, where uh, when the breeze completely shuts down and you just end up here drifting around. But, um, it's a hard to remember one that's going to be quite as uh, quite a big deal as what it's done. What do you think about the cross and the down? Were you were, were you scared? And what do you think about the penalty? Was it okay? It was close. You know, um, I don't think it should have been a penalty, but you know, I'm just got to respect the decision that it's made. So it was, it was surprising. But, uh, were you scared? I mean, if you <laughs> 25 knots? Or no, no, it's not. You know, I think uh, both teams sort of enough respect that even if it wasn't an error of judgment on one of the teams that were in the boat. Would you have thought going into the district out of one of these boats wouldn't have been able to get around the course in 40 minutes? Um, in the real world, yeah, just you, you see how painful it is driving. I mean, you know, the boat actually get up and get calm, but it takes a long, long time. And, I remember when the ball driving down and we were doing sort of pulling past knots and the boats were saying, don't really lose any speed. Like, we just, every time we drive in the midst of it, we just nearly sort of aim and you know, only rest of the mark. So it does take, and you do lose a lot of time to run. At the pre race uh, meeting with Ian Murray, he, he was uh, sort of talking possibly of even the second race being wiped out. You guys obviously had, you know, could have done it as Henry Lyder as well. Yeah, no, um, Clouds, he was very uh, yeah, small and uh, it was going to be a, a very difficult day. You know, we had anything between 14 to 18 at race time to virtually nothing. Uh, and just depending on how it was at the front uh, out off the coast, which was um, having quite a big impact on the weather. I think uh, it's going to probably continue to influence it again tomorrow. Dean, we've got a three knot minimum on the wind lights and um, nine knots today. Well, yeah, I think you have to say that was a little bit of a new not going to quite work out. Well, I think it's five knots. So uh, I think if they start racing five knots, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty uh, difficult to make it work. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.